Hello folks, this is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel. So what about what I'm about to say is that what I'm talking about is Mario merch. Alright, so since the 2023 Super Mario Brothers movie is it, it, it is mopping the floor on on others on the box office is mopping the floor on Disney. You, you know what? Tell you all about it is this the Mario merchandise, all the Super Mario merchandise, you know, Mario merch. It is that could tell you that this company, Nintendo, because once so familiar that you say Nintendo, the famil the the familiarity would be with video games. Be it is definitely, definitely so known to be video games you think of nintendo you think of video games all right so i don't know because sony playstation and microsoft xbox microsoft microsoft and sony got into the video game business right so first of all talking about this and talking about other merchandise that talking about all the mario merchandise and i see videos about all the super mario merchandise cereals toys plushes i mean uh there, there has been a lot, a lot of merchandise with Mario. The one thing that they need to do is the big watch companies is just de dealing with time, with time pieces, watches. I mean, this is one thing that um, I could tell you that I might say that watch manufacturing you have the your mickey mouse watch your peanuts watches and all these watch manufacturers to to put money in on every ip i mean almost dedicated you know i mean this is one thing for sure that mario merchandise is with watches I mean, there is no official, or I would least to say uh, there's some Casio, but there's no company only to dedicate their time making Mario watches, all right? Super Mario watches, all right? So the thing the thing is with, with, with these products that Nintendo would license, I mean, and talking about the company that makes Mario before they started with video games, tell me about it. They started with the Yamauchi family in 1889 by making playing cards. By making playing cards, I mean, that's Nintendo. Nintendo started in Japan in Kyoto by making playing cards. The playing cards sell very well. The first one landed with a Hamafuda, then with and then with the Western style playing cards, you know, and then they just come out with with Disney merch playing cards. They have a, a sign with Disney. That would be very successful. Pokemon cards is now the thing, but you know, it was like I don't know if we go back to traditional playing cards. Probably hope that probably one of these days Nintendo might have, have some stake on the USPS uh, company, uh, on the US playing card company, you know, the people that make bicycle cards and B cards. Yeah, I mean, it would be great for Nintendo to be, to have holding on this because they would make playing cards again, but under the bicycle name or under the B name, under, you know, US playing card company, Fran uh, franchises, companies that make playing cards, right? So that would be way on the future, but yes, they still would make playing cards. The other ventures they have made failure. Some are very successful. Playing cards were successful. It was back then, but then after all, after all this, they came out with um, taxi cabs. They made food. I mean, Nintendo made food. I mean, rice. And, and, and one of the food I items, um, motels or couples hotels, love hotels, right? But that would be failure. Those three um, areas are failures. 
But then after that, toys. I mean, they came out when an employee named uh, uh, Young, Young, Young Kikapoi, uh, um, he has started with the with, with the grabbing toys. So that grab toy became very popular and and it is one of Nintendo's most successful products was a toy back in the 1960s or something like that, right? So it, it became that. <clears throat> This is way before video games, and then they have started uh, video video games with uh, video games to say the the least. Out of all of that, it just came in the nineteen seventies because they made everything. They made toys, games, all these type type of merchandise. Nintendo made it in whatever it is with this how everything has started so the first game to say the least is they as keeping out they were nintendo went before making stage to be known for video games the first video game consoles they ever made were punk clones a bunch of punk clones of punk clones everywhere right so that has never made it through you mean yeah <clears throat> You have a decade coming out. There's other companies making video games. Atari was in, and and just saying that like Atari is, is uh, left and right. There says is the, is the like uh, it became a household name. Atari became a household name, but Nintendo was looking to the golden opportunity to make video game consoles because of all their all their punk clone failures and whatnot so so to say the least when they made arcade games they would have made light guns and made all these a bunch of toys and games that you, you have in comes to mind to just telling that the first video game that have been brought to you to the to the usa was radar scope i mean it is what it is radar scope came out like in the early 80s and the in 1980 or something like that. Then yeah, they have they have even made Othello, and they have made games like that, you know, or or what not to say to put it that way. You know, the game have never did that well, but suddenly let me tell you about one thing that Nintendo has did with handhelds. There were electronic games and there were, you know, not that much of a scene. When Nintendo came out with the LCD game called the Game & Watch, I mean, <clears throat> it was the same with Jokoi, Gunpei Jokoi, the same guy was riding a bus and we go, he sees on the bus somebody's messing around with the calculator. Somebody messing around with the calculator on the bus. Well, let's invent something to to uh, to you know distract people in the bus. You know, let's make a game out of a calculator. Game and watch. The game and watch was on. That out of a out of Yukoi riding a bus and seeing somebody messing around with the calculator while he's riding. A, Riding his bus on way home, so he came out with the Game and Watch. So that became popular. I remember I have one. I used to have the Super Mario game, and they and they. I don't know if they do do still Game and Game and Watch, but out of all this, they have improved with the LCD games, those pocket games. It lead to companies like tiger to have succeeded with the game and watch you know you know Im imitated other companies has done tiger electronics and others follows nintendo's footsteps and this is the reason why that tiger made lcd games thanks to the nintendo game and watch so and it's talking about arcades right so the Radar Scope arcade game, out of all, you know, was a total. And there you have Galaga and Galaxian and you know them shoot 'em up clones, right? So, those shoot 'em up games, even Space Invaders. 
and Pac-Man. And we'll, we'll forget about Pac-Man, right? So, I mean, I remember playing Pac-Man when I was a little kid. And, you know, I told my mom, give me some quarters to play Pac-Man. <clears throat> this is where the designer of some guy named Shigeru Miyamoto had created Donkey Kong. And Donkey Kong was that hit game that Mario was in it. He wasn't even called Mario. He was called Jumpman. And, and then this is where all the first merch of Mario uh, or you know, Nintendo merchandise, Nintendo merch that came with cereals and cartoons and whatever. Nintendo has done some profits even before they came out with, a con with their home consoles, right? Luigi later on came out, you know, Nintendo to make their IPs and other and other video game consoles like like the Col ColecoVision and all this stuff. And let me tell you why. They still have their home console market during the crash of 1983. I mean, remember when video games went to the toilet? With video game industry in the United States went down the toilet or the global... Well, Nintendo, on the other hand, when they really came out with their Donkey Kong 3 with Stanley, and <clears throat> after even after even the success of Donkey Kong Jr., the game where you have the opportunity to kick Mario's ass. I mean, Donkey Kong Jr. is, is another favorite, uh, one of my favorite games in there. This is the game that is one of my favorites. You play Donkey Kong Jr. You save his old man. You save, you save, you know, you save his dad. You get to kick Mario's ass. You defeat Mario. It's like one of the only games that you could you could kick Mario's ass is Donkey Kong. I mean, oh, uh, excuse me, Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Jr. That's what it's because of the first Donkey Kong that came out in 1981. You save Mario and save Pauline. So. Put it aside, there's a lot of merch with Mario. We're all were related to Donkey Kong, but Luigi came in there with the <clears throat> with the first Mario Brothers game before they were called Super Mario Brothers. I remember that they used to be in the arcade, they have it in the Nintendo and the NES. I put it about this, all these arcade classics came to the NES. Before which came in the NES, the NES came in the United States, and then uh, I don't know if they have, and they brought in Luigi. This is where I could go with the Super Mario Brothers merch and the Mario merch going on to just conclude about Nintendo making all these products that video games have been a very successful product. To put it that way. From the arcade rooms to the home. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, that's where be like saying the company has done a lot, and they even have mm, contact with Sharp. They have Sharp to make TVs with the Nintendo uh, included. You know, I mean, those combos with the TV and the game console included. <clears throat> so. How they could, how they just invade and ate everybody's lunch, and how Nintendo became a household name, even though Shigeru Miyamoto, he is what I call the Walt Disney of video games. He is Walt Disney of the video game world. So all of this, and even Pokemon, right? So. You got Pokemon, you have Zelda, you have Metroid, all the Nintendo IPs, you know, intellectual property. So that would be so much that the NES, when it first came out, um, it wasn't even called the NES. It was called the Family Computer or the Famicom, for sure. You know, it was the, the cartridges are small, even though you got an adapter. I remember that getting the bootleg but but first of all put it that way the cartridges were smaller compared to the US one that you put it in there and you and like a toaster and you and you put it down and then you turn on and you play the video game right so 
that's where the first um I mean Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Jr., the Mario Brothers, even Popeye. I mean and Nintendo even have license to King Features to make a Popeye video game in the arcade and that was also on the Nintendo console before it was called the NES, it was called the Famicom or the Family Computer. I mean, then when it came to the state, it came out in around 1985. And this is where Super Mario Brothers was introduced and they have the Super Mario Brothers Arcade. Can you imagine that? The Super Mario Brothers Arcade was released in Japan for a console known as their version of Super Mario Brothers 2. Totally different Mario game. It was in a disc system where they have a floppy disc system. I mean, that you put it in there in the in the in Nintendo fam family console. You put it in there. You you put it in there. There's the add-on for the Nintendo family console. Now that was the NES known in Japan. So. The success of all this with Mario Merc, Mario Merchandise, Nintendo had it with this guy. This guy has became very popular and his creator, Shigeru Miyamoto. I mean, all of this, suddenly the guy was named Mario after Mario Sagali after the, the guy was saying, we need to pay rent when the Nintendo American headquarters, the U.S. headquarters of Nintendo, you know, get to do the rent, and then there's a, they, they stuck with the name Mario, Mario Sagali, because of him. We have Mario, and we have Luigi, and that's where the name comes from, since Donkey Kong Jr., through the Mario Brothers, you had Luigi, all of them that Luigi has been the staple Mario's brother since 1983. I mean, remember the game of uh, that is in the in, th in another console. Like we have Nintendo property in other consoles. Yeah, I remember the 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 <clears throat> commercial says Mario, where are you? Remember that? I don't know if they have merch from that, but you, but anyway. Talking about Nintendo property, the one thing they have made, uh, cartoons, movies, and I, I only think they have some Mario <clears throat> movie or TV special that came out in 86 in Japan. But one thing I could remember is the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. It says, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. It's the Mario Brothers. And I was listening to this. Well, this is the first cartoon that I've seen here in the U.S. And they came out with Captain. And But talking about just Mario, Mario 3, Mario World. Yes, this, I know how to beat Super Mario Brothers 3. So that's the game I am familiar with. You know, it's one of those favorite. And you, all you have to do is let Bowser fall. fall. Super Mario Brothers the first video game to save the prisons could be on World 8. You, uh, Bowser throws, uh, throws hammers. You go there, you pull down the lever, and let Bowser fall, right? It's plain and simple as that, right? So, <clears throat> that to save the, all the Mario merchandise, phones, uh, food, uh, phones, food, all these, uh, all these proper, even cereal. Even Nintendo cereal, I was saying, wow, what would this company have done? Because back then, it is for the saying Hollywood Studios in 1993. What would they deliver for NOA? I mean, saying NOA, put it known as Nintendo of America, what NOA and Hollywood never had agreed with this movie of the 1993 starring Bob Hoskins you know the guy that is who is we all know or everybody knows it as Eddie Valent in Roger who framed Roger Rabbit you know Eddie Valent he played Mario 
John Leguizamo played Luigi. The movie flopped. And the way look in their property says, uh-uh, we ain't going there. He, he, he didn't execute it. There was a no Nintendo release movie until Pokemon, you know, Detective Pokemon. They have done something right. Sega, on the other hand, did <clears throat> make the lovable blue blur Sonic, you know, the lovable blue hedgehog Sonic, into his own movie and Paramount and Sega did something right. Well, in a way, we're having high hopes until the 2023 Mario movie. And I was saying that this movie has done so well in the box office. It would be a great hit for Nintendo. They were working with Illuminations, Universal, you know, and, and, and all of that because Chris Pratt he knows how to play Mario. And my only thing is, his Mario is very good. One of my favorite villains that I would say in the Mario franchise, Jack Black as Bowser. Put a Jack Black as Bowser. I mean, I love Jack Black's portraying as Bowser. He did the best thing since Jack Nicholson in the joke. Jack Nicholson in Batman 1989 movie, the Joker. Yeah, I'm. I just remember if it's the Joker, Jack. Jack is the Joker. Nicholson. Jack is Bowser. Jack Black. <laughs> yeah, right. So, in in that what it is with Peaches because I remember that. Yeah, I mean, Peach, Princess Peach, I wouldn't know her as Princess Toadstool. I remember that? Yeah, because they call it Peach, right? So, I would just saying, uh, saying that the Mario merch that Nintendo has made, even they made suit movies, cartoons, you know, uh, it, it, TV shows. All right, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show with, um, with, um, Albano, you know, Albano, the wrestler, right? So, um, Louis o, uh, Albano, the wrestler, right? He played Mario in the first Super Mario Brothers TV show. And this, and with, with connections with Deke back in the day, right? So, all, and then the rest that Mario franchises, Mario merchandise, the one thing they have never done is watches this movie has been done so much that i was just thinking each company they have the star wars franchise star wars merch uh mickey mouse and disney they got their thing marvel their thing warner brothers they have their thing dc comics i mean Disney have bought Marvel, so so that would be that Disney and Marvel, you know, saying and Warner Brothers with DC and Looney Tunes, right? So, how does the IP to say about this? These watch company says about one thing. They release some of their merchandise, some of their merch shirts, and everything. Nintendo needs to do some watches too. I mean, Nintendo watches. I mean, Nintendo have never done something to be an exclusive brand. A brand, I would say that it would say uh, to mean the least of all Shigeru Miyamoto's creations. And I think he will definitely be a CEO of a watch company, right? So. I bet he will do this understanding to put his creations in a watch. I mean, this is it because I'm I'm not just saying there's a bunch of watch companies and then they're talking about IP and talking about that. Of course, the Swiss knows how to make great watches, but put it this way, I mean, there's so many comp companies, even, I mean, US companies being bought by a Korean company, but a Korean company known as LG. LG has bought the Zenith brand of TVs 
and they just you know ended up probably they just just make it's a conglomerate they might just go after timex whatever they're gonna do if they have lg timex i mean we don't want to say i don't know what the heck what they're gonna do but i don't want to say let's say it it would be nice to say to have swiss made timex watches developed in korea and all that stuff and then the just to give it an edge on Seiko and you have creating Seiko killers and whatever it is and 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 probably even get uh, uh you know spur, uh, you know purchase Stelita or ETA for the movements for certain Timex watches or something like that. That'll be that'll be cool, but you know, but you know, that is just to say that, I mean, you know, but one thing for sure that I want this, this favorite, my favorite, one of these timepiece watches, Timex, <clears throat> to make Nintendo merch, right? So the thing is about all this that putting in Nintendo and their history and all this from making playing cards, from toys and failed hotel failed uh couples hotels and and failed taxi cabs and failed food businesses and whatever it is to a company to be one of the largest video game companies in the world right so make it out done with mario to put it that st to that start is that one thing that nintendo should do is time pieces you know, freaking wear Nintendo on your wrist. Maybe the gaming watch will be in a pocket size. <laughs> yeah, who, who, whoever wonder will be in a pocket size, right? So there might be game and watch games being uh, manufactured probably in the Philippines, right? So instead of Japan. But, you know, that's just one thing that I would say is that to put it all together they have would it have been that timex would have i mean they're they're the that company started in in waterbury connecticut does have there are two locations one located in the netherlands of their global headquarters and then in connecticut right so whatever it is for nintendo to acquire that brand and and it's just like this just like any company that only have watches to make exclusively. I mean, they have you have Warner Brothers that Amatron would have made exclusive watches with Looney Tune characters. And Victor would have made Disney because Disney uh related IP would also have been made by various companies. It would be made by companies it, it even Timex have done Disney related merchandise or so Mickey Mouse watches with Timex, right? So it's still it's still be there, but then relations to what it is with the Mario movie and Mario merchandise, shirts, everything like that, all Nintendo related. So what would be for all this is that I would say that <clears throat> Mario merch would be it. I mean, the first thing they would do with this Nintendo franchising and making watches because Timex already now have Peanuts, 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 you know, like Snoopy, Charlie Brown, this and that, you know, I'm, I, and, and all of the, and all of suddenly, I don't know, what if, it, if they're gonna make some Hello Kitty watches, right? So what it is about all this that one company would be making even though Invicta would be making Sega making have you know contracts with Sega we don't make me wrong and, and make everything with Sonic the Hedgehog some Sonic the Hedgehog watch I like seeing some watches seeing Sonic the Hedgehog face right so that would be it for the Invicta watch brand I have a Mickey Mouse watch they and have contact they making Disney IP I don't know if they make Bugs Bunny, uh, uh, Marvel, DC, and and all this IP. This I mean to say it all this. Then what it is 
other companies have you know dragon ball and whatever <clears throat> the watch merch is it i mean it would be cool to have mario in a timepiece and telling the time not for, not from a no name company even disney have some third party company making mickey mouse watches before they were made by timex they were made by by seiko even casio should you know look on their on their classic ten dollar watch to make a mickey mouse watch version of it you know so but auto suddenly i would say the first thing that would what nintendo will do is to acquire timex even though it says in the video the watches i'm showing and i'm showing that it is what <clears throat> Nintendo does is move one of their international headquarters. I mean, for the watches, it would be still at home located in Connecticut from their headquarters in somewhere in Holland to Kyoto, Japan. I'm going to tell you, move Timex Global Headquarters to Kyoto, Japan is it's close to Nintendo. Nintendo property. It would be only Nintendo IP exclusive. I mean, that would be just saying I would be, it would be awesome to have the a miniature version of the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch from the 1988 Game & Watch handheld. I mean, it would be awesome in, in, in some sort of that because Nintendo would be the sole provider of this. I mean, it would it would be like the first time to seeing seeing this, seeing Miyamoto, uh, Chigeru Miyamoto taking over the Timex watch company, seeing all this Nintendo dedicated watches. I mean, it would be awesome and big to have their Disney watches now because Timex used to make Disney watches. It was called, you know, Ingersoll, but the history of Timex would be very good and well provided and put it that in their in Nintendo's portfolio, Nintendo made watches. Nope, they acquired a watch company and so on. In and probably we will have might have some Timex watches being built in Kyoto, Japan out of all places right so that would be like like nintendo's portfolio on making watches so it would be interesting it would be interesting to see mario and a marlin the marlin mario the black marlin mario bowser and and you have digital walk a digital watch with the super mario brothers related and and uh, even zelda and and, and Donkey Kong, probably Metroid, all the Nintendo IP, even Pokemon, right? So Pikachu in a watch in the, in the day, uh, day land or whatever it is. So yeah, yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon, it would be awesome. That would be glowing and you have Pikachu, you know, glow up in this tail and, and whatever the face, you know, the Pikachu face for so. Um, and that would be to say that you, that you have all these watch companies would be have dedicated merch for their IP. Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers, I have a company to make, you know, anything, uh, a company to make Looney Tune related watches, DC related watches. Disney might have chosen their companies to make the related IPs with Mickey Mouse watches made by very by these companies and and so on. So what it is, it is licensing C fee. And then you have peanuts. I mean Timex have peanuts now. I mean it would be awesome that's that is to say that you have uh, these companies that will say this that one thing that Timex will de do or what Nintendo will do is make 
Nintendo merch, Mario merch, Mario watches, Super Mario related watches. I mean, you see Mario telling the time, it would be awesome. And, and that would be that moving the uh, Timex Global Headquarters from some company in the Netherlands, Timex Group, to Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto, Japan, we're sharing the same office as Nintendo, the same headquarters. Kyoto, Japan would be the, I would wish to be the new headquarters, the new headquarters, but the global, globally for Timex watches with Nintendo. It will make Mario watches, everything Mario exclusive Timex only makes it, only Timex makes it. That way, I would love to see Mario merch, Mario merch, you know, you know Super Mario Brothers in every watch, right? So you have a Super Mario Bros. version of a, of a watch. That would be awesome, a Super Mario Bros. version of a watch. Donkey Kong. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, you could have the Bowser um, uh, day, uh, Dayland or something, one of the Timex watches with Bowser. And you have the Indie Glow, they have different variations and, and different and different colorations, blue, fiery red, and you know, like Bowser red or something like that. All this Nintendo property IP will be exclusively Timex to be an exclusive brand for the Nintendo. To be <clears throat> only for the Nintendo property, that'd be that it'll be the only exclusive brand that I think that when it is with so doing choosing time makers the only company to make nintendo ip to make metroid to make mostly mario yeah mario merchant super mario digital watch that they have the super mario the you know the, and the classic mario and, and everything i think it would be great for nintendo to acquire timex it would be great for timex to move their global headquarters to Kyoto, Japan, while still having the Timex in Connecticut. But I would think it would be awesome. It would be really great for, for Nintendo to make watches. They have made media, they made movie, they have a Super Mario Bros. 2023 movie, and also for the sequel. But I would think that one of these days, when they do it, I hope they do it soon. And even if Yo Pesci plays Bowser Jr for the Super Mario Brothers sequel. So write me in the comments. See you in the next video on Embargo Man. And please hit the bell button. I need to go eat. I need to go eat, you know, I'm, I'm dinner's ready. So um, see you in the next video. Please write me comments and see you later on Embargo Man for anything of any related subject, random subjects, as what the Embargo Man channel is. Goodbye, peace out.